Let's take a look inside the JCD 8898 hot air and soldering iron station I recently looked at. See if the insides are better than this stand. I'll start with this hot air part. It looks easy to take apart if I had a smaller screwdriver. If I had a bigger screwdriver. So there were two screws in the back and then that collar on here and it just comes right apart. So here we have our replaceable heating element. It's about five dollars or something if it ever breaks. So that should just come on out. Once I take that grounding wire off it's a lot easier to work with. So that looks relatively easy to replace, unscrew the wires. And we have our fan assembly here. Very simple unit. We have this little rubber attachment here to help guide the airflow from straight down instead out here. The only other thing in here really is this simple PCB. There's probably no point in taking that out. I don't know if there's anything on the other side, but all the wires coming in, going on to the heater. The one thing that's weird, this cutoff zip tie here, I'm not sure if that's what's keeping this grommet strain relief from coming out, <laughs> but either way, once it's together it seems okay. Worst case, I would hot glue this together if it ever started coming out, but let's get this back together before I damage it. It's working fine before I messed with it. There's a little hole here on top and bottom which slides into place and keeps it in position. So that's stable. And the grommet end is all good, so make it permanent. Put the collar back on, and hopefully it still works when I go to use it again. The base just has four screws. And that's a very compact designed unit there. One thing I need to do is not move the position of this green and red wired connector because I think those are identical, so I might be able to plug them into the wrong place. So here we have a nice heat sink. I'm assuming this is some sort of triac. BTA 16 600B. So that would be a 16 amp 600 volt. This generally looks like a nice little circuit transformer, and a CBB22 capacitor. That's poly something or other. 400 volts, 104J. I believe that would be a 0.1 micro 5% tolerance. And if we put this under the microscope to try and get a better idea, that I see there is either getting washed out or has no markings. MB6S. That's a bridge rectifier for part of our power supply here. 3041. That's an opto isolator triac driver output, and there's our triac beside it. And generally, everything here looks good. We got a bunch of jelly bean surface mount parts, electrolytics, there's that transformer, and the mystery IC. I cannot tell what's on there. So looks like a compact neat little board. And on this main unit I don't know if it's really worth trying to dig right down in there get that board out. Let's just take a look here. These terminals for the power switch and AC in nicely heat shrunk along with heat shrinking on those pins for the connectors that go to the iron and hot air. And we can actually see down in there without taking it apart using the microscope. So we've got this nice big power resistor here and another one of those high voltage big capacitors. Also a CBB22 400 volt. There's a nice view. BT136S-800. 
that would be a 4 amp 800 volt triac. So another clean looking nice board, bunch of jelly bean surface mount. I don't quite understand why this electrolytic has such long legs there. It's just sitting there a little bit bent to the side, but it doesn't look like it needs to. So I don't know, as long as it's not going to short anything out. An LM358 op amp sitting in there doing something. And I don't see any markings on this chip. No idea what that's for. And I couldn't easily see this, so I'm doing the scotch tape trick, putting it over the part, and now it says Nuvoton, and it's a microcontroller. I don't know if it's coming out properly on camera, but I can see it a lot clearer now. MS-51F-B9AE. And this is an 8051 based microcontroller, runs up to 24 megahertz, 16K flash, 1K SRAM, the usual peripherals. So overall, a neat little compact design. Works well. I'm gonna get this put back together, see if it still works. Luckily, everything still works. So that's what's going on inside this little unit, and I'm happy to own it. Thanks for watching.